All right, so here's what we got coming in from the overflow. I uh, just had to replace a MaxiJet 1100 <clears throat> with this pump because it died, which was feeding the bio pellets. Um, it's got movement. It's not clumping up really too bad yet, um, but I need to upgrade it. I know that's not flowing enough. Uh, here's what happens when the NPX bio pellet stuff does clump. There's the skimmer that I've been talking about that's ancient. It's 14 years old. Uh, it's one of those old Airstone skimmers. Um, here's the air pump for it, one of the, just a left pump. That's the noisiest thing in this whole setup, actually. Most of the noise that I hear is the stupid air pump. Um, but yeah, it's got the Airstone. Tough to see. But I mean, it's grabbing stuff. I clean the top. It's tough to clean between the tube and the chamber, but it's just flowing into a two-liter bottle that gets changed every couple weeks. The denitrate, um, I actually uh, just tested uh, the water coming out of that the other day, um, and it was still at 20 parts per million actually coming out. So I'm going to give it another day or two um, since I just had to mess with the uh, sump a little bit. Let's see if it comes back online. Here's just the refugium area. Some Kato. Live rock. Deep sand bed. And just uh, my return pump died. It's in that back chamber. That's uh, a quiet one. 800 gallon per minute pump. Uh, it's turned back fairly significantly to match the flow of the overflow so it's definitely a, one of the shortcomings.